Okay guys, um, it's now 11.39 a.m. I've just got in the van um, and the temperature in my van currently is 42.5 degrees centigrade. You know, we're at a temperature now already and I've only just got in where I could potentially make a cooked breakfast on my dashboard. Uh, I've been in here 10 minutes now and uh, I know I'm smiling but it's... It is really, really hot. Um, I know that's obvious. We have a look at the temperature. I'll give you the uh, centigrade first, 43.4. It's, you know, it's so hot we're on. It's sort of held around 43.7. You, know, you think all during all of this time that I've sat here, I'm absolutely drenched. I've, I've got the ability to, to sweat. I've got the ability to rescue myself if I need to. And his dog hasn't got that ability, it just has to sit there and fret. Um, I feel a bit confused, really. I'm sweating so badly. Um, it's not a pretty sight, really, but just imagine, you know, this is, it's been half an hour. I've sat in here for half an hour. I've got the windows cracked open um, more, than the, more than most people normally do afford the dogs. Right, final temperature check. Just shy of 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Forty-four point six. As hot as the Atacama Desert in my van right now. So why would you leave a dog in that? Beggar's belief. So, you know, now I just feel like I've got I feel it like jelly actually, but yeah, much better now. But please guys, um don't do it. And if you do see a dog left in a hot car that's in distress. Please ring the police on 999. Cheers.